identify key public concerns, such as community impact, resource allocation, and public safety. Help our own. Do something to stop it. A heated meeting in Norfolk packed to capacity with residents voicing their concerns over the state's plan to open a shelter at the former prison. There is no turning back when this happens. Our schools are overcrowded as it is. We have a budget problem. This isn't a humanitarian question. This is a mathematical question. It cannot happen. Norfolk town leaders say they met with state leaders Wednesday and learned the state does plan to house about 450 people at the former Bay State Correctional Center. The overflow site is meant to help homeless families with children, many of them migrants who have been sleeping at Logan Airport. Now we are considering adding additional children onto the plate of our already stretched too thin teachers and expecting it just to work. The biggest concern is how the schools will handle this influx of children, while a few people said they worry about those new students getting bullied if they're not welcome here. And as you know, one of the few black families in this town, I feel obligated to ask this question because I don't want these children to be, um, you know, targets. Public safety is another concern with a sudden increase in population for this tiny town. The Norfolk Fire Chief says when the shelter opens, he's expecting emergency calls to increase by 5 to 10 percent, which will impact response times to residents. I visited the, the facility on Monday. Uh, there were no contractors there. Uh, we were told that, you know, barbed wire would be taken down. State Representative Marcus Vaughn and Norfolk Town leaders say they've been left in the dark on this new shelter, but they're hoping to mitigate the impact to this town. Residents' reactions to the new illegal immigrant shelter in Nopok highlight several main issues. Overcrowded schools, budget constraints, and increased emergency calls. They emphasize the importance of community control, stability, and resource management. Concerns about schools and emergency services reflect a desire to maintain the community's integrity and functionality. Fears about tax increases and resource shortages align with democratic values of financial responsibility and efficient governance. The motivation behind residents' responses is driven by fear and potential lifestyle disruption. Public safety concerns, school overcrowding, and budget worries stem from a fear of losing control over their environment and quality of life. The state's decision to house immigrants in small democratic towns without sufficient consultation raises ethical considerations and practical questions. This influx could lead to social tensions and a reassessment of community values and resources. Residents' resistance reflects their desire to protect the community from external threats and maintain their existing lifestyles. Balancing humanitarian needs with community concerns is crucial, highlighting the complexity of integrating new populations while respecting established communities.